character lesson this week is self-control and self-discipline. And we define that self-control is doing what needs done when it needs done, whether you feel like it or not. Self-control is doing what needs done when it needs done, whether it feels good or not. And the message that I'm trying to get across to the kids is this idea that your own personal comfort and entertainment is not always the most important thing. As a parent, I'm, you know, I'm sure your kids say, I want this, I don't want that, I like this, I don't like that. And we all have our preferences and we all have our desires, and that's fine. But our preferences and desires in the moment are not always the best way to drive all of our behavior. And so when the kids, you know, I don't want to, great, then this is self-control practice. Well, I don't like that, great, this is self-control practice. Sometimes we just got to do what we got to do because it needs done. I don't think people are born with self-control. I don't think uh, people have self-control talent necessarily. I think it's something we come to through practice. And if we look at many of the things that we view as problems, um, nutritional problems, exercise problems, education problems, if, if we look at a lot of the things that we're not happy about, in some way, a great many of them tie back to, boy, if we improved our self-control, this, this problem would would be reduced. In addition to that, if you think about most of our other character lessons and what we really hope for students comes back to self-control. Courage is a type of self-control. Respect is a type of self-control. Teamwork is a type of self-control. Persistence is a type of self-control. People who have greater self-control are going to have higher self-regard, higher confidence. Um, so again, self-control. Do what needs done, when it needs done, whether you feel like it or not. Uh, the other idea that I'm tying in this week is that self-control is always better than other control. Obviously, babies have awful self-control. They have almost, almost no self-control, so they don't really get to make any decisions for themselves. They're sort of at the mercy of people around them. I think that's still the case even as, as we move into um, adult life. People who are highly responsible, people who have good self-control, tend to get to make more of their own choices and are respected and treated better by others. People who have lousy self-control control spend a great deal of time waiting for other people to tell them what to do. Um, that they're, they're not really running their own show. And so self-control, do what needs done when it needs done, whether you feel like it or not, do what needs done when it needs done, whether it feels good or not, because that's how you get to do more of what you want to do. The, the, doing the things you don't want to do is the path to doing the things that you do want to do. 